Hey everybody, it's Marcus here with Goody Reader, and today we're going to give you a tutorial on how to load ebooks to your Allure Tech Libra Color. This is the brand new e reader from Allure Tech, and it reads primarily text, PDF, and EPUB books. So, we're going to show you how to load ebooks on this device via Windows Explorer. Caliber and Adobe Digital Editions and along the way we're going to tell you why you want to use those particular programs. Uh, suffice to say Adobe Digital Editions is for ebooks you borrowed from the library or have purchased from other stores. Caliber allows you a little bit more flexibility on managing your ebook library and then finally Windows Explorer is probably the method most people are familiar with but in terms of flexibility it offers the least. So the first thing that we want to do is plug this into our computer via the USB cable and incidentally if you want to know more about the C-Reader you can check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash user slash goody reader or you can check out our blog at goodyreader.com slash blog for all the written reviews video reviews and tutorials for the Allure Tech Libra Color as well as most other popular e-readers So the first thing that we want to do is uh, give you a little bit of history on Caliber. It's a free download from the internet and it allows you to have a lot more flexibility in managing your ebooks. So I'm going to simply click on add books and I'm going to click on Crimes by Moodlight by Charlene Harris. Okay, so it shows you right here, you can see here's the title. Here's the cover art, the author name, and so on. So what Calibre allows you to do is edit things called metadata. And we're going to edit metadata individually. Now you can see here, you can see the title, the author's name, series, title sort, author sort, as well as ratings, tags, ISBN numbers, and so on. You can even see that this book is in EPUB format and the book cover there. Calibre allows you to do things like change the cover art, you can change the title, the author's name, and this is important especially if you download a lot of books from the internet. A lot of the times books may be separated by hyphens or it may say by Harris and obviously it's all misspelled and so Caliber allows you to kind of fix up and clean up so on your e-reader it's a little bit more manageable and a lot of people are sticklers for things like this, so Calibre really helps you do this. And so not only does it help with ebooks you download from the internet, but it also allows you to convert ebooks from one format to another. Since the Allure Tech e-reader only reads certain formats, you may download formats from the internet that are in Lit, LRF, Mobi, zip or other formats even rtf that your e-reader may not be able to handle so just because you may download a book that's not in the format your e-reader reads you can simply use caliber to convert formats from one format to another and this is pretty handy and you could change the formats and then copy it directly to your e-reader so it is a handy program you can simply google for caliber online and find it what we want to do is teach you how to copy an ebook to your e-reader. So you can see here that beside library is device, and that's indicative to our e-reader plugged in. So you can see that there is no books on, on it, but you can see that it is connected to the Allure Tech Color. So what I want to do is I want to click on add ebooks, add ebooks from a single directory, and then click on Crimes by Moonlight by Charlene Harris. Now you can see it's adding. And once you see that check mark there, it means the book has been copied to your e-reader. So that's basically Caliber. Once you get to kind of get the hang of it, it becomes an easy to use program. So we're done for that for now. The next program I want to show you is Adobe Digital Editions. Now, this is a great program. It is also free. Adobe Digital Editions is mainly used when you buy books from other bookstores. Since the Allure Tech Color runs the EPUB format, what this means is that you can purchase books from Kobo, Barnes & Noble, Borders, Smashwords, BookBaby, and a ton of other sites. You can purchase books that have Digital Rights Management, or DRM, and you can use Adobe Digital Editions to register your device and then copy those purchased books to your e-reader. So once you have Adobe Digital Editions installed, you'll see 
and your e-reader is plugged in. You see this is the model number as well as a picture of the e-reader. So what we want to do is click on the little tab next to library and then add item to library. And I'm going to copy a book, it's uh, Fatal Error by J. A. Jantz. And I'm going to left click so you can drag it around. Now you can see this little red X there. And it suddenly turns green when I'm highlighting it over my e-reader. So I'm just going to simply let it go. Now you can see it has copied successfully to our e-reader. So once this book has appeared here, it is now officially on your device. And if you borrow books from the library, they'll appear under the borrow tab. So you can borrow EPUB books, which is the main ebook format of choice when you borrow books from OverDrive or various other programs for library lending. The last thing I want to show you how to do is how to copy ebooks via Windows Explorer. So this is the root drive of the Lure Tech Color. You can see most books here are in text format, but I can simply just copy another book into that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize all of this. And the last book I have uh, to copy is uh, going to be another ebook. So we're going to kind of check that out. So it, once you want to copy ebooks to your device here, you can simply just drag and drop it from your desktop. So if I had a book on my desktop, I could simply just drag and drop it and it'll appear into the root of my device. So it's pretty handy and just, you know, it's simply just copy paste it onto your e-reader and once you copy it there, it appears on your device. So we showed you, you know, basically how to do with Windows Explorer. I'm not going to drag and drop a book there because anybody could do that. And the main essence of the tutorial was to teach you how to use Calibre and Adobe Digital Editions to transfer books. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just safely eject uh, the book from the reader. Okay, so it's safe to remove it. Okay, so now you can see that we have like 15 different pages of content. So our, our content is on here somewhere. Of course, if you don't, all the books that are on here are sort of like 100 free books that came with your e-reader here. So if you don't want them, you can simply delete them and you could use Windows Explorer mainly just to, you know, delete them and things like that. So once the books have been copied to the device, they should just like appear here. Uh, sometimes, again, e-readers can get cluttered really fast. So here's the Charlene Harris book, the J. Jans book, and you can see that it does show you formats here like text, EPUB, and so on. So I'm just going to click on the J. Jans book. And yeah, one of the benefits of a full color e-reader is that you do see things in full color. So this is handy, especially if you're reading kids' books or you know, magazines and so on. So uh, here it is. You can magnif press uh, the magnify button here and uh, magnify the text. So let's make it extra large. There you go. So this has been a tutorial on how to load ebooks to your Allure Tech Libra Color. We recommend the C-Reader. It's pretty low cost. It's just over a hundred dollars and it does a lot more than reads ebooks. You can do things like uh, watch videos, play music and so on. So it is pretty handy. So uh, for good e-reader, this is Marcus and you've just watched the tutorial on how to load ebooks onto your Lure Tech Libra Color.